Okay, there's the 5050 advocacy campaign and women's manifesto launch, and we are going to go and find out the details right now. And on the line today, I have Honorable Missy Hainabwe, who is at the 5050 advocacy campaign and women's manifesto. Uh, how are you doing? No, we're doing fine. We're doing great. Uh, thank you so much uh, for taking time out to hang with us on air. I would like to know how it is going over there at the manifesto launch. No, it's been it's been wonderful. Um, we have just had uh, the speaker uh, of the National Assembly, um, Advocate Mbenda, mm-hmm. launch um, the 50-50 campaign um, and also launch the advocacy campaign um, and the manifesto. Um, as, as you would know, this is basically the manifesto feeds into the 50-50 campaign. It's a tool to ensure that 50-50 actually becomes a reality. So it's been wonderful. I mean, we have loads of women. We have young women, so it's intergenerational. We have women from political parties. We have women from civic society. So it's a wonderful coming together of women speaking with one voice. So what is this meant to do for women, the 50-50 advocacy campaign and women's manifesto? It's, It's meant to say we are demanding that section 17 of the constitution becomes a reality and we are saying for this 2018 election it needs to be seen that constitutional provision has to be translated into action it has to become a reality is this going to be effective enough to make that reality happen well the more voices the louder we are Mm -hmm. The more we begin to name and shame political parties that are not willing to do this, as they know, the icing to this this conference is going to be this evening, where we are asking political parties to sign to a commitment that they will ensure a 50-50 representation. So those that do not, we certainly will name and shame. Those that do, we will celebrate. But when they also get their candidates, on the list and they take them to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, they will be asked whether they have lived to the commitment to which they would have signed today to allow for another 10 years at least before we do a review of whether it should be something that should be open-handed. Okay. Open-ended. Okay, you mentioned that more voices, it's louder and more effective. Do you feel that there has been enough buy-in with the presence of the number of people who are there right now? Definitely. Like I said to you, to allow to have more than 20 political parties in Mm -hmm. here coming in their diversity, Mm -hmm. to see the young women that are here, to see the older women activists, to see government, to see MPs uh, from different political parties, to see the speaker. I mean, I don't think you can have any other better gathering to be able to amplify the voices that we need um, on this issue. True. What would you like to uh, let our listeners know concerning the 5050 advocacy campaign and women's manifesto? Well, just to tell them that if you are not here, we certainly are coming to where you are. Mm -hmm. This is just the launch of a campaign. Mm -hmm. We are intending to come to the provinces. We are intending to do women's rallies. Just one more question. As the campaign is rolled out, what would you like to see from the men? Well, support. Um, the speaker has already shown um, that, you know, males can be supported. We're expecting uh, you to be our supporter, yes, main indeed. supporter. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We will definitely be there. Star <laughs> FM definitely uh, is one of those uh, radio Thank stations you. that advocate for 50-50. Oh, okay.